color isolation effect is a simple effect, but also very effective. You're gonna go into your color tab on the qualifiers, you're gonna click the eyedropper, and basically gonna select the color. But this one has a lot of blue in it, so I'm gonna select blue. You click on it, you see your node actually change over here in the corner to actually get a better look at what you're selecting. You're gonna click the little highlight tool over here. It's gonna change your it's gonna change your clip to show where it's selected, but of course it's not selecting a lot of the blue. So to add to that, you wanna go down here to the qualifiers and click the plus icon. Makes you want to keep clicking on that blue in different little spots or whatever color you're trying to select so it comes in a little bit more prominent. Once you got enough selected, you actually can cut off the highlight. Go down here to invert. It's going to invert your selection. Basically, it's going to invert your selection and basically select everything else outside of that color and go into saturation. Turn it all the way down and now you notice you got everything blue. Zoom in. Play your clip. You notice here you got a real good selection. Color come through really good. If you wanted to as well, you can also turn up the saturation. I notice for this clip, it actually add a little, little kick to the clip. And now if you double click, you can reset. And you notice it's kind of kind of dim, kind of pale a little bit. Like I said, adding a little saturation. Kicks up, especially like the shoes and a little bit of the background smoke and stuff. But the blue remains the same color. Now this effect can actually be keyframe too, which is something you don't, at least I don't use very much in the color page with keyframes. So say for instance, you go over here and right click, add a dynamic keyframe. And this keyframe we're gonna use, we're gonna keep it, we're gonna keep it where it is now. And then you're gonna scoot over a little bit, right click, add another dynamic keyframe. And on this keyframe, we're gonna cut down the saturation. So you go back to the beginning, play it over time, it drains out the color. Now, while selecting your colors, you want to get a more refined look at it. Like so within the highlight mode here, you can actually go over here and select highlight black and white. It gives you a more precise look at what you're selecting. You can go in here and you can increase saturation or decrease it. Go into the hue, bring that up. And actually showing you more of your selection. Click on the plus. You can add more to it. Oh, it's a little too much. Hit Control Z to go back. Yeah, it might not be too much. It might be all right. You also got your matte finesse options over here. You can clean up the blacks. This is more or less if you're actually doing like a change in the color. Since you just kind of isolate one color, this is not really necessary. But say, for instance, you go into the color warper and you want to go ahead and change. Actually, I'm going to cut this off first. Cut that off and then cut this back off. It'll actually let you go in here and cut that back on. There you go. You can go here and you actually can change the color. And this is here to actually let you bypass color effects and make sure that's, so that's bypass and make sure it's cut back on. And then you can go into the color warper and you can change the different colors. So right now it's selecting most of his jacket and pretty much all the blue elements in the smoke and kind of give it a purpose, purplish hue. And you go here to the curves window, you can actually change from curves to hue versus hue and they give you more precise controls of the different color changes. But now it's completely green. Now, if you wanted to do this effect on a moving object or a moving subject, I can zoom out a little bit. Say, for instance, you want him to go black and white or have the, everything else be black, white, except him. You can do this two ways. If you have the free version of DaVinci, you have to use the mask tools. So you can go into your power windows, click, click on the pen tool. I'm going to draw a rough mask. I'm not going to go through it because you're basically going to have to go through it frame by frame. Okay, so this is just a very rough mask. And you're going to go into the tracking page. A tracking tab, I'm gonna hit track back and forward. It's only gonna track and get so much of it. So you notice there is tracking that, but his arm is moved. So what you want to do then is go over to the frame or in the power windows, go over to frame, and then basically you want to go through frame by frame and just mask it out. So like this part here, you basically just want to kind of move the mask in. Kind of keep it flat up against them. Then click so many different frames, you see it stretches out. That's a good thing about adjusting the mask after you do the tracking. If you're done masking subject, you can go back into the power windows. You do a little tool here to invert the selection. And you can bring down the saturation. And then you're, you have the one person or your one main subject. When you have the subject maintain this color and everything else will be black and white. Or so you hit the invert button here again in the power window and have him black and white. And if you get DaVinci Resolve Studio, you can go into Magic Maze, 
change it from object to person click the person plus dropper select your object or select your subject and do the red overlay hey it looks like it's a good track track back and forward it didn't get everything but got enough it's about right here it picks up on it with his back being turned and with the background being mostly black i think it's kind of losing the track right there but it picks up right here at that point you can cut the overlay off click here to invert the mask and drop down your saturation and kind of clean up those edges down a little bit bring up your clean blacks and your radius and your clean white just kind of finesse the mask a little bit you know that the edges look a lot better now now your subject is oh, go back clips now that everything's blacked out well black and white except him or you can invert it and have him black and white and that's going to do it for the color isolation effect if you got any value out of today's video be sure you hit that like button subscribe to the channel for future content and check out this video here for intro diffusion it's going to be an ongoing playlist this is part one and i'll see you next time